winning winning blueprint presents five minutes or less san francisco 49ers Welcome, I'm your host Lou. Thank you for joining me. This is the San Francisco 49ers in five minutes or less. Got five minutes on the clock. Let's get started. So the high point of the season for the San Francisco 49ers. Smacking other teams around and being disrespectful in their house, that feels really good. The San Francisco 49ers were able to do that several times in the 2012 season. Week 1 in Green Bay, 22-30. to 30. They were able to go in and beat up on the Green Bay Packers to start the season out. Then you think about week four, going into New York to take on the Jets, smacking them around 34 to nothing in their own home. You also think about the Patriots game, 41 to 34, a game that you dominated for the most part until late in that game and allowing the Patriots to come back and make a game of it. But you were disrespectful to them in their house as well. But all of those pale in comparison to the feeling, the high of getting to the Super Bowl. Every team wants in on the game known as the Super Bowl. Only two get to play in it, and only one gets to win. And you had the opportunity to get to the pinnacle of the sport. And so that's the high point for you. Your 28-24 to victory over the Atlanta Falcons in the NFC Championship game allowed you to punch your ticket to New Orleans at a shot at winning the Super Bowl. And so that's the high point of the season for the San Francisco 49ers. So you look at the low point of the season for these 49ers in the 2012 season. Look, for as much smacking around as you've done on the road in the 2012 season, you did suffer some pretty sound beatings yourself. You allowed the Giants to come into your house, not take their shoes off, raid your refrigerator, and get really comfortable on your couch. They went into your stadium and beat you up 26-3. You also had a lambasting at the hands of the Seattle Seahawks 42-13 in Week 16. But again, all of those pale in comparison to your loss in the Super Bowl. Nothing hurts worse than getting all the way to the last game of the season, having a chance to call yourself a champion. Actually being able to physically reach out and grab and touch the trophy. Have it within your grasp and have it snatched away from you. That's what happened to the San Francisco 49ers in the 2012 season as they made it all the way to the Super Bowl. Lost against the Baltimore Ravens in a hard-fought game, 34-31. to And so that's the low point of the season. Making it to the last game. Having a chance and not getting it done. That's the low point of the season. Very disappointing. But that's the low point of the season. So we look at free agency activity for the San Francisco 49ers. Although you're a really good team and you've got basically $10 million of cap space from which to work with, you still got to go out and test Test the waters if you're the the San Francisco 49ers. Look, Deshaun Golston is a free agent. You need to have him back. Delaney Walker is a free agent. You need to have him back. What about Ricky Jean? Francois, I love saying that. You might need to bring him back in the fold as well. After you finish taking care of guys in-house, however, you've got some money to play with. Go out, hit the market, see what's out there, and if you got a couple of guys that you want to bag, by all means, go out and make your team better. You've got the most draft picks of any team in the league. Go out and test the waters in free agency. Lastly, the state of the fan base in San Francisco. This one is very easy. Extreme Extreme optimism. optimism. You just went to the Super Bowl. You've got 14 or 15 picks coming your way in the draft, depending on some of these compensatory picks. You've got a lot of things going for you right now. You've got money under the cap. You're not strapped for cash. You've got a talented young quarterback. You've got a young nucleus of talent on your team. You've got an excellent head coach. What is there not to be optimistic about in San Francisco? The sky's the limit. The only enemy that you have to worry about if you're the San Francisco 49ers 
is yourself. Only way that you can self-destruct is if you self-destruct yourself. It's extreme optimism for the San Francisco 49ers. And you hear that sound in the background. That means that's been the San Francisco 49ers in five minutes or less. San Francisco 49ers, five minutes or less.